Well, hello, welcome to another Mililani Minute video. We are going through this book called Cornerstones, 200 Questions and Answers to Teach Truth. Uh, this is a resource you can use with your children, and I hope that you're able to do that. But it's also a great reminder for parents uh, as you're going through this study. Uh, so far in this series, we've talked about God. We had 30 questions on the person of God and his attributes. Now we've got 20 questions we're working through on creation. And just this week, we're going through 12 of those. We went through four just yesterday, and we've got the remaining three days of creation week uh, coming up today. So let's jump right into those questions. Uh, again, yesterday we talked about days one through four. Let's start off with day five. Remember, there's a pattern here. We ask, what did God create on the fill in the day? And then on that day or on the fill in the day, God created and we give what he created. So here's the question. What did God create on the fifth day? What did God create on the fifth day? On the fifth day, God created birds and sea creatures. That's where we have birds and fish, and then the, the animals that live in the sea. And so what happened on the fifth day? God created the birds. So we see flying animals that were landing in the trees and living on the earth. And then we see the sea creatures. Um, he has not yet created land animals. Uh, this is only day five. And so again, what did God create on the fifth day? God created birds and sea creatures. So sharks, fish, whales, uh, all kinds of interesting things that happened. So he had sea mammals, he had fish, all kinds of good things um, in the sea. And that was the fifth day. The next question that you can ask is, what did God create on the sixth day? So now we're wrapping up creation week, and this is the big day, right? This is the, the day the humans showed up, but it wasn't just humans. On the sixth day, God created animals and people. So what did God create on the fifth day? God created, on the fifth day, God created birds and sea creatures. What did God create on the sixth day? On the sixth day, God created animals, land animals, and people. And so that's where God, we have this famous story in Genesis where we see God forming the dust of the earth into the shape of Adam, breathing the breath of life into him, giving him his soul, giving him his, his being and bringing him into life and uh, beginning that relationship with Adam. But we also see later, we, we get this story of how he looked out and saw that all of these animals had a mate. He created them male and female, male and female. He created them all. Uh, and then he created man. And now this is not to show God made a mistake. Um, this was God set Adam, gave him a purpose. He was to start naming all of the animals. Adam went back to God and said, you know, there's a male and a female bird. There's a male and a female dog. There's a male and a female bear. You know, whatever the, the different animals. He said, but I'm looking around. I'm all alone. I'm by myself. I don't have a mate. And God said, it is not good for man to be alone. I shall create a helper suitable for him. So what does God do? He says, go to sleep, Adam. And he took out a rib and he made Eve. It was, this is all happening on the sixth day. Uh, so this is important because what happened on that day, this was not God making a mistake and be like, oh man, you know what? You're right, Adam, my bad. Um, why don't you take a nap and I'll, I'll fix this real quick. There was a reason why God created Adam, left him to see, I need a mate. Yes, you do need a mate. You need a helper suitable for you. You are not complete by yourself. You need someone else. So he gave us someone as human beings. There is someone that he has given us to teach us. We need that relationship. We crave that relationship. That's a picture. Instituting marriage is a picture of the greater relationship, that oneness we have in our relationship with God. We are to be of the same mind. We're to desire the same things. We're to walk in one accord. That opportunity for Adam looking out over all of creation and realizing, I, I feel like I need something. Yes, Adam, you do. 
And that completed the six days of creation. But there's one more day, the seventh day. Now, we're still going to ask the same type of question, the same pattern. What did God create on the seventh day? Now, that may sound like a trick question because if you grew up in the church or you grew up in Sunday school, you might say, God didn't create anything on the seventh day. God rested. Ah, yes, that is the answer. On the seventh day, God rested. But what did he create? Because we say, you know, he created the light, he created seas, he created land, he created plants, animals, and humans, uh, as well as the sun, the moon, and the stars. So what did he create? What Rest. He taught us what it means to take a day to rest. Did God need rest? Was he tired? No. He was not exhausted. God did not expend too much energy and needed a day to just chill. No, God was teaching us work for six days and take a rest to remember his goodness. As a matter of fact, later he actually gave one of the commandments. Remember the Sabbath day, a day of rest and keep it holy. Why? That day is set to keep us focused on him. So what did God create on the seventh day? Excuse me, the seventh day? On the seventh day, God rested. He created this time for us to take a break, to rest, to look at all the six days of the hard work that we've put in. Take a, take a day to thank God for the opportunity we've had to work. Thank God for even the struggles in the sense that we know we were able to overcome through his goodness, through his grace. Take that day, rest, enjoy his goodness, enjoy his blessings, enjoy his favor that has been shown to mankind as we have been set here on this earth to rule into creation, to look over creation, to, uh, to manage and steward the resources that he's blessed us with. We have that opportunity because God created that for us on the seventh day. Beginning with our next uh, series, uh, we're going to stay in creation, but we're going to focus completely on Adam and Eve and all the things that God did with them as we wrap up this idea of creation. So we've got eight more questions, but they're all going to be about Adam and Eve. And we'll catch you next time that, we, uh, that I'm in these videos with you. Have a great day.